What's up guys? Welcome back to this brand new video. This video is by far the most action-packed video I have ever created. We have downwinders, 30 meter toe-ups, double loop training in Tarifa, and then we have the world championships in France. That was very special for me because I didn't compete for some time. And in this part of the video, I've done something in the competition that have never been done before, which is, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Before we dive into the video, I just really want to say thank you so much for the support on the last video, Storm Chase to Ireland. We gained over 400 comments on that video, which is ex absolutely insane. I really appreciate it. I've read every comment, couldn't reply to each one of them because there were simply too many. So make sure to watch it all the way to the end because it will be worth it. And uh, let's go, guys. Thank you again so much. <laughs> So this is my beautiful girlfriend, Nicole. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we go from point A to B. Point A is a location which is just a drop in and point B is my home. It's getting dark in an hour as well. It's getting dark in an hour as well. Okay, maybe we make it. Be lucky. Down loop over the ridge. We made it. Oh. Oh. My hands are definitely very cold. Oh, look how beautiful it is out here. And let me make a statement. If you're seeing this video, or you know someone who has a stressful day or whatever, go book a kite lesson, go out there, go on the water, even if it's cold, even if the wind is bad, I mean, go out there, you will feel better when you get off the water compared to when you get on there. So do it, enjoy. Oh, just I'm like, I am having a blast here right now. It's cold, I don't feel anything in my hands, but I don't care, it's good, I mean, I'm the only person on this lake having a blast with a beautiful sight with the sun is set in the back so go out there don't make any excuses i don't care if it's cold you shouldn't care either. you know what i said so let's go Woo. so let's just go do it let's do it oh, oh shit oh. I need to find this place. This is a very narrow one, so go. Woo! Woo! Here is a nice left turn. We can go like Woo. Yeah. Oh, uh. Woo. <laughs> This is so much fun. Can't jump it. Oh shit. We can. I think we need to do a little catch job here. Eh? I'm afraid. Okay, we need to go there. 
And we do it, it's just by flying. I mean, I have this amazing guide that is, I think, the most lofty guide out there. So this small little thing here. Look at this, look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Slide. Okay. Got to the rip. Flying to the rip. Oh, <laughs> the rip. That's crazy. Whee! Look at the sunset, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm very lucky by going this quick because I'm fighting probably in 12 knots but my 10 probably is even more Wow, the sunset's getting more beautiful every second I'm super happy right now I mean, you could be in Cape Town or you could be doing this I would rather do this than riding at the same spot every day over and over and over again So look, so then in, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> that was cool. Oh, oh. oh bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost home. Whee. Okay, I want to make it like home in the garden, you know? <laughs> so guys, that was one big of a blast. If you think I should do this video again, comment down below again. And if you'd be so kind to comment, I think maybe it would be a cool idea to make it a little race or to do it with another professional kite surfer. Tag the person you want to see and they would do a race or whatever. That would be great. Because look at the weather. Like first sun I've seen in ages. But uh, the boat uh, completely broke down. Uh, Rule of the mechanic. Have some cables. And we have the, the Bulida V12 twin turbocharged. So we're gonna kickstart uh, the sloop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now, vliegdekschip is op. At least the weather is like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Roger is here, Rulof is here, and today they're going to be a test pilot to debunk the question if a beginner, or at least a beginner with a foil kite can ride the Sonic. And then once it works, we're going to do a toe up with the, the fellas. It's going to be pretty epic. And <laughs> 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 <In> the water. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, kom eens, stop eens. Oké, okay, probeer zo dicht mogelijk bij de boot te springen. De kite een beetje op rechts te houden. En als ik zeg ja, dan doe je de bar van je af en trek je hard aan de linkerkant van de bar, oké? Okay? Ik denk je dat hij wel weet dat hij een downloop moet trekken. Omhoog zullen. Hou daar, hou daar en nu trekken, trekken. Ik ga het eigenlijk door trekken. Ja. Yo. Wachten. Nu. Blijf trekken. Harder sturen. Ja. Kan het niet. Ja, we gaan. Oh. Oh. Denk je dat hij bij de eerste sprong met een downloop gaat trekken? Ja. Ik ben ook bang dat hij dit kijkt. Ja, dat snap ik wel. Wachten. Ja, hou hem! Hou hem daar! 
Okay guys, we are doing something very responsible. Not Rulof's gonna do a toe up with the 15 Sonic. Naar rechts! Ja, ja, ja! Doorsturen! Aantrekken! Blijven sturen! Blijven sturen! Aantrekken! The engine uh, we got a new engine. quit again, but we got the forces of nature. Forces of fly surfer. Forces of fly surfer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dit gaat echt nog sneller dan met de motor, serieus. Rounding the corner with precision. Maak je stappen, Roger. Stampen. Oh, no, no, he's gonna make the lunge down the inside. <laughs> so I'm heading to Tarifa right now. I just booked my flight. I never traveled this last minute before, but supposedly uh, the whole uh, Lords of Tram competition had to happen this week, but they postponed it to next week. And everybody went to France, all the pro riders. And I saw there's a, like a really good forecast coming up in Tarifa. So I'm just gonna chase it down. Hopefully some really good training with the six. I'm bringing my six, seven and eight meter. So only small sizes to just absolutely go massive. So let's get it guys. Okay, I just got back from Tarifa and it wasn't worth it in any sense because the wind was just so bad. I never experienced this bad wind there, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I'm really excited to head down to France right now. It's one of the best places in the world to kite. I almost broke the world record there, so strong wind, lofty wind. I would think the riders will absolutely send it to the moon, like the best kite surf action we will ever see there is gonna happen. So yeah, stay tuned. 16 hour drive ahead. So we need to stay locked in, stay well rested and get ready for tomorrow. So see you there. Oh, so we just made it. Tomorrow alarm is at eight. So hopefully you can get some, it's a little bit of eight hours of sleep in. Meditate a little bit before and then get registration done, skippers meeting and we're off to a good start. Let's get it. So people, my heat is about to start. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the tricks are scoring yet. So I'm thinking I will probably first go with my eight meter and then switch throughout the heat to my six meter because yeah, the wind is not looking super strong right now. So we're gonna get it, send it, head out there, have a great time. Take you guys with me. A big welcome here to the Qatar Airways GKA Kite World Tour. It's the first stop of the Big Air here at the Lords of Tram 2024. Evan Klein is next to perform his maneuver. Okay, uh, warm up so far is going pretty great. Watching the riders also descend it. To be honest, I'm just enjoying it because the wind is nice. 
it's just so special that all these people are watching you for something you can do, which is amazing. Two Dutch riders in this one. There always seems to be a bunch of Dutch riders yeah. uh, in this, of course. 75% of these riders here are from Europe. That's 18 of the 24 to, to, you know, to show you just how much control over this big air fleet the Europeans do have. Opening up here is Evan Klein. Wow. Great takeoff here. It's huge. It's a double back roll. Megaloop balled off. Looks like he's gone into three and a half rotations. What a landing. Wow. Maybe he's still fighting here. Yes. And cool, there's a man that's experienced this spot. He's 100%. been here and he's got a point to prove. Yeah, the kite fell a bit out of the sky there on his landing, but he really managed to, to keep control as he went for a triple back roll. Kite loop board off Evan Klein. Uh, riding uh, a beautiful uh, board schmieder board we see there and uh, and uh, the, the fly surfer kite. Uh, very good opening maneuver from Avon, I would say. I know one man that will be happy about that back in the Netherlands, Joost Essenberg. He's always a big fan. Mm. Uh, there's great content on Avon's YouTube channel where he's chasing the most extreme wins. Uh, he recently went to Ireland to chase some 17 knots of wind trying to jump a world record. So there's some incredible kite footage on his YouTube channel. Uh, he's opting to maybe go for a trick on the right here. One point separates all these riders at the moment. It's a good there take go. off. Doobie, Contra, board off into a third rotation, into a fourth. And wow, I, I didn't think he was going to land that. That was four front rolls I count there, yeah. Marion. And he just controlled, great control of the kite here. Okay, that was one really good trick and one okay trick. So if I land the next one, that's three scores on the board, which is good. Here he goes, left foot forwards then, going into looks like a back roll. Whoa. Oh, he Just didn't send it, there. he didn't feel it. We saw a very similar position from Jeremy Belando of that move and did commit to sending it here. So something didn't feel right on the way up to Evan, especially with rotations. There's never a good time to throw a loop if you're not feeling 100% about a rotation. These riders all terrified to absolute to, to lose spatial awareness that is the thinking but here is Evan Klein the dark horse in this heat he's committed to this one it's a bit wow. later at the crucial point of a mega loop than we've seen from some of the other riders but I think the first one was a bit uh, higher though with an extra rotation first one scoring a 5.87 so there we go Evan going up wow that's a huge huge double there's no rotations or borders but definitely very high there Okay, first heat is done. Uh, I got third, unfortunately, but I learned a lot. I will probably go only out to the six after. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Let's hope I make the next round because if I lose this one, I'm out of the competition and we wouldn't like to see that. So, stay tuned and let's get it. Okay, guys, I'm off this heat. Ah, uh, could it look pretty good? I'm like super lit on my sticks. So it's gonna be an exciting heat for sure. I just really hope I can manage to get the right shot. Here goes Evan Klein, this is big, it's a double mega loop board off, it's wonderful! They'll be loving that back at home in the Netherlands. They've got not much to talk, talk about at the moment, especially the Ajax fans. But he's landed that <laughs> wonderfully. Look at this, this was right on the limit of getting the support from the kite. Lovely big double mega loop from Evan Kind there. He looks really happy with that, and so he should be. No! No! no. <laughs> I just came through! No! <laughs> oh! Yeah, you okay, real fast. Hey, first attempt, I uh, double contra bordo. Yeah? Oh, right, that's a lot. Here's Aaron Hadlow, second here, he's the 36 oldest rider here. 20 years ago, to remind you, 20 years ago, he was on the way to his first world championship win. Half of these riders weren't born. Do you like that stat, Philip? Okay, we're out on the water. To be honest, I've never ridden this guy in such strong wind, so that's gonna be epic. 
basically what happens if you as the wind increases the bar pressure also increases a lot so what i need to focus on is basically not pulling the kite too early other than that we're all good On your screens with his inflatable kite now, he's unfortunately missed one of his tricks so far, is Evan Klein. They'll all be watching this, I'm sure, back home. There we go. Definitely a bit more uh, more lift than, uh, than the kite had before. Oh, unfortunately, not making it there. Here comes Evan going for a jump. Let's see if he breaks the record again. Waving to the crowd. So will he know now via his watch how he's done? We haven't got that he data shoot. coming in on your screen. I'm not entirely sure if I got second or third. But this year definitely didn't go as planned. But you never know what the wind will do in the heat, you know. I also think I've got the full experience in double jet. So my game plan wasn't bulletproof either. But it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Just got back from France. Um, what a blast I had competing. Literally one of the best competitions I had. Done double loops, took out the foil, single loops. Like literally, I, I'm super happy how it went. So massive thanks to Fly Server for making this happen and my girlfriend for supporting me on the beach. Without you guys, it won't be possible. For the next video, guys, really make sure to subscribe because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everything I can to chase down the storm in Iceland. Gnarly, cold, grim, everything. You can name it, it's there. It's not nice, but it's epic and it's fucking ridiculously cool. So make sure to subscribe for this and thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video. Ciao.